congratulations! You made it to 1124, which is the fourth pace in Algebra 2. And uh, you should be, if you're doing it, paces 1, 2, and 3 take about one quarter of the year. So I'm guessing you're starting your second quarter, or you're trying to push ahead maybe a little bit. But here we are on page 5, and uh, this is uh, indicate, um, they say it's reviewing polynomials. And so let's talk briefly about polynomials. When I have something like x squared times x to the fifth, think about what this means, x times x times x, 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 x. <clears throat> Two x's, five x's, I'm multiplying them. And so we can literally just add all of these exponents. So they're all ones, add them all up, and you get x to the seventh. So the shortcut here is to see that if the base is the same, <coughs> excuse me, we add the exponents, okay? Similarly, if I had x to the fifth over x squared, that would be like saying x, 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 x over x, x. Anything divided by itself cancels out, so two of those would cancel out, and you would have x to the third, or we could say a shortcut is to take five, and when we're dividing, subtract five minus two. So as long as the base is the same for that variable, you just subtract the exponent. So that's review, hopefully you've had that before in Algebra 1, and just a quick reminder why this works. Now I'm going to take two problems that you have on today's homework, and let's talk about two aspects of this. One is how we actually do the simplifying, and then let's remind ourselves, because I make a big point of this on page 4, we need to write our answer in descending order. So here, first of all, if I just pushed it all together, I would have 9x over x negative 9x over x, okay? Put this with this, and it'll have negative 45x. Put that over 1 if you want, okay? Put these two together, you think, oh, it's 0. No, 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 no. I wouldn't even be 0 if I was adding. It'd be negative 18x. But I'm multiplying, okay? So when you multiply, this becomes positive, so negative times negative, and then 9 times 9 is 81, x times x, x squared. Now, let's go back to this one and see what happens. My exponent here is 1 and 1, and I'm going to subtract. What is x to the 1 minus 1 or 0 power? What is anything to the 0 power? Anything to the 0 power is the number 1, okay? <clears throat> now actually, you can kind of see that right here because x divided by x is literally going to cancel itself out, just like 3 over 3 is 1. 7 over 7 is 1. x over x is 1. But here's the algebra way of, sh of showing that, is we subtract the exponents, we get 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Now, it only affects the x. The 0 is only attached to the x. So this whole thing does not become 1 or negative 1. It becomes negative 9 times 1, which is just negative 9. Then um, I should not have made this negative and this negative because there's one negative here, and this is positive, all right? So we have negative 45x, and then we had the 81x squared. Now, when we look at this answer, it's not in the right order because we're supposed to do it in descending order of the variable. So we want to actually start with the x squared term, then go to x, and end up with the, we call it the constant, the number that does not have an x. All right, so I'm going to let you finish that one. Let's talk about uh, this unusual problem. Look at this exponent here. It's 2a plus 2 eeks. What are we going to do with that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Have you? Actually, I have. Think about what the rule says. If the base is the same, x and x, what we're going to do is add the exponents. You might be tempted to think, oh, I need to multiply distributive property, you know, 4a plus 4. All we're doing is saying this exponent is 2, this exponent is 2a plus 2, and you're going to add them together. 
So the only ones you can combine are just these whole numbers, these integers here on the end. We can't do anything with this. So this literally becomes 2a plus 4, and that is the exponent on x, and then we keep the 9 out front. Okay? And then we'll tack on the minus, keep the 4. Now what do we do with these two exponents? We have x to the, and we're going to do something with these, well, that one's just like the first illustration we did. That one's not as hard, so you can finish that one. And I believe that's the wrong order then. I don't have the score key right here in front of me, but I think the exponent you're going to get here actually should come first, and then this will come at the end because this is going to be a higher exponent. Um, so when you do that, <clears throat> make sure you keep the negative 4 with this, and then plus 9 to that power. All right, I hope that helps.